join me join me for pack nine of the American Cars collection from Diagostini Collectibles. Welcome back. This is what I received with pack number nine or box number nine, the ninth shipment of the Diagostini Collectibles American Cars Collection. Cars number 31 through 34, 1969 Camaro, 1966 Mercury Cyclone, the 1969 Ford Mustang Mach 1, and lastly the 1984 Chevrolet Corvette. Let's go ahead and look at the magazines here first. And here's the four magazines you'll receive with this pack. And we'll go ahead and go through the first magazine here, which is a Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 from 1969. And wonderful magazine. A lot of research was done here by Diagostini Collectibles. And uh, they offer a lot of reading here. Great research, great photography. Around 12 to 13 pages front to back. So the ZL1 article is first here. Talk all about the 1969 Camaro. This happens to be the hardtop. I had a really good friend in high school that had a convertible of this car. And of course it gives us the technical sheet dealing with the car. And Camaro's in the 21st century. So they talk about more of the modern aspects of the Camaro. The redesign of the Z28. Adventures of Hunter S. Thompson, so that's very cool there. Good article here. One you'd want to read, definitely. Continuing on with that. And then what's cool is the, the last page here, they always go back in history and they talk about what happened uh, during this time frame in 1969. So it was a premiere of Easy Rider. And for the rest of the magazines, you'll have to subscribe to this to read through them or look through them. But we did get a magazine for the Mercury Comet Cyclone from 1966, the Ford Mustang Mach 1 from 1969, and lastly, the Chevrolet Corvette C4 from 1984. Okay, what I also received this pack is another free gift. Let me bring it over. And this is the gift that I received, which is a 124th scale Chevrolet Corvette C3 1968, which happens to be one of my favorite years for the Stingray. So I'll take this little protective cover off. And these free gifts will vary. So you'll have to go over to Diagostini Collectibles to see what free gifts are available when you sign up for your subscription. This just happens to be one of them. So this is fantastic here. It's a 124 scale Corvette and it's beautiful. Beautiful finish. Uh, it has a full interior, a red interior. Um, the dual exhausts on the back, license plates, tail lights, everything looks fancy. Uh, very nice. It is a curbside type model, so you're not actually going to see the engine with this, but it will, it will make up a very nice display, especially if you're a fan of the 1968 uh, Corvette Stingray, which I am. So this is absolutely beautiful. Fantastic. It's got the T-tops. Very nice. All right, let's go ahead and look at the first car from car number 31. I'll be right back. All right, here's our first car, car number 31, and that's the Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 from 1969. And you can see our background shows the Yellowstone National Park. The back of this will tell us that this car sold for 7,200 back in the day. Very nice, metallic, dark metallic blue, hard top Camaro. Let me take this out of the, its protective cover. Okay, and here it is. Wonderful finish on it. 
the iconic Camaro front end from 1969. I love the details on the grill. Black interior, windshield wipers, matching wheels, chrome hubcaps, dual exhaust, chrome trim around the windows. It's very nice. Great finish on it too. Okay, let me bring over the next car. Up next is the Mercury Cyclone 1966. So this is a Ford Lincoln Mercury. We're all together back then, right? They were separate manufacturers and uh, Mercury was more of the more luxurious than the regular standard Ford. So this is a two-door. It has the hard top, the vinyl, black vinyl hard top. It's got the hood scoops. Looks like our background looks a lot like uh, New Mexico back there. And let's see what this car sold for back in the day. 2700 Can you imagine that? What a collectible this car would be if you had one uh, factory fresh and you're driving it around. Let me take this out and give you a closer view. It has a white pinstriping, some uh, Cyclone graphics on the front of the car, white stripes down below, chrome rims, the iconic upper and lower headlights, really nice grill detail, New Mexico plates, black interior, windshield wipers, black vinyl top, and dual exhaust in the back. Wonderful. That's what it looks like from above. It's a deep rich red uh, the cam video camera is not showing it well. Maybe I can uh, adjust the color range to give you that color of the red that it actually looks like here. But wonderful car. On to the next car. Car number 33 is next. This was car 32. And here's car 33, which is the Ford Mustang Mach 1 from 1969. And uh, these cars are worth a lot today, especially if they're in pristine shape. Parts are hard to come by for these, especially a lot of your suspension components and brakes and such. A lot of people go ahead and modernize these with a more modern suspension. But this car, brand new, was $3,270. Very nice black finish. Let me take this out so we can get a closer look. Looks like our background. It's hard to tell. Maybe somewhere in the Midwest. Like that. Okay. We'll see what the license plates show us, but here is a close up black, sorry about that, black with the uh, orange and yellow striping with the Mach 1 symbol on it, hood scoop, very cool there, very fine graphics on the hood scoop, the hood is flat black, very nice graphics on the grill, windshield wipers, rear view mirrors, black interior, Very nice. Dual exhaust, tail lights. Very cool. Chrome wheels. Very nice. And let's go ahead and look at car 34 next. And 
And here's car 34. This is the Chevrolet Corvette C4 1984. And this is painted overall in a white with red stripes. Um, I remember when these came out, I wasn't a really big fan of the body stock because I always liked the uh, Stingray, but th this kind of grew on you. Uh, back in the day, I used to uh, deliver parts to the GM Proving Grounds way out in East Mesa, Arizona, which it's not there anymore, but I used to get a sneak peek of some of these cars out there if they were leaving the the, uh, the the Proving Grounds themselves coming out the gate or something, I would get a sneak peek of them. It was pretty cool to see them. So here in this case, we either are in California in the background or in Florida. I'm, I want to say we're in California with that. Let's see what this car cost back in um, the day. 21800 I definitely could not afford that back then in 1984. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out and we'll get a closer look. There we go. There we go. And black interior, like I was saying, overall white with the red striping. Retractable headlights. You have that look of the Corvette. Matte colored wheels, rear view mirrors, the iconic double headlights in the back for the Corvette, dual exhaust, and give you the top profile of the car. Wonderful graphics on it. Very nice. Okay, that's the last car with box nine. I'll be right back. That was a review of Pack 9 or Box 9 of the Diagostini Collectibles American Cars Collection. Cars number 31 through 34. And fantastic series of cars here. The Camaro, the Cyclone, the Mach 1, and of course the C4 Corvette. Thank you all for watching my videos and thanks to everybody who subscribes to my channel. With that, head over to Diagostini Collectibles and subscribe to this collection today. It's fantastic. Remember, these cars are 143rd scale and they'll look fantastic in any of your car collections that are larger than the 164th Matchbox or Hot Wheels style cars. With that, happy modeling everybody and take care.